As Bay County residents continue to rebuild 14 months post Hurricane Michael, some properties in county jurisdiction haven't changed at all since that storm. Now many residents are asking what's going on and why is it the county stepping in? News 13's Erica Orstad learned from county code enforcement officials that the process is a monumental task being undertaken very seriously. From one side of the street to the other, it's a polar opposite picture. Many homes looking exactly like they did since the day after the hurricane with no visible progress. I think we have a lot of property that's just literally deserted. North Shore resident Thomas Grant is fed up. These values on our homes are being damaged by those that I call them absentee owners. Like this property next door. The owner to this house, to my knowledge, has never been back here. Down the street, another one and another. I'm seeing a community of people that are really trying hard to bring it back. But then I'm seeing too many people that aren't doing anything to clean up their property. He and several other residents are wondering when will the county step in? What many don't see is this. We conducted an inventory of approximately 1,500 properties in Bay County. The war room of county code enforcement. Bay County Code Enforcement Manager Kathy Ashman says she and two others are tackling around 1,000 hurricane-related cases after the one-year grace period ended in October. It is overwhelming, <laughs> to say the least. The property next to Grant's home is on the list. It's obviously not something that's going to happen overnight. For more information on how the properties are categorized and what will happen to them, visit our website at mypanhandle.com. In Panama City, Erica Orstad, News 13, Panhandle Strong.